nitrogen cutting torch systems are comprised of the same basic components, the cutting tip, torch body, oxygen flashback arrestor, liquid fuel hose, liquid fuel tank, oxygen hose, oxygen regulator, and oxygen bottle. Petrogen systems are compatible with liquid oxygen and bottles of any size. Inside the head of the torch is the mixing unit. It's important to know about this piece of equipment because it may need maintenance if the torch is overheated. It's comprised of a small o-ring, wick, large o-ring, and mixer body. Refer to your reference manual for more information about the mixer. When using the multi-fuel adapter, use the high heat series of tips. Here, we'll be using a high heat 3 with 20 psi of fuel and 40 psi of oxygen. If using the optional automatic pressure regulator kit, use up to 100 psi of fuel pressure. The multi-fuel adapter replaces the standard cutting tip. Simply screw it into the head of the torch, place a high heat series tip inside the multi-fuel adapter, and secure it with the tip nut. Make sure that the male seating surface on the multi-fuel adapter is clean to avoid any leaking. Secure the multi-fuel adapter with a wrench, then place a high heat series tip inside the multi-fuel adapter. Use the included multi-fuel adapter wrench to secure the tip inside the multi-fuel adapter. Before lighting the torch, test the spark striker. This will help avoid any unnecessary fuel leakage. Start by turning on the preheat oxygen knob one half turn. Then purge the torch by depressing the high pressure oxygen trigger for three to five seconds. Place the torch near where you'll start your cut and turn on the fuel control knob two thirds of a turn. A cold multi-fuel adapter may take several strikes. Now increase the preheat oxygen to one full turn. Leave it at one full turn until the orange flame has disappeared. This means the multi-fuel adapter has heated up. Now turn the preheat oxygen knob back to one half turn. Make your final adjustment using the fuel control knob. A properly adjusted petrogen torch will have a large aggressive cone. It's important to run the system rich. Having more fuel in the mixture means higher velocity as the fuel evaporates and expands into a gas. This is important as it will allow you to have much greater coupling distance, keeping the tips safe from overheating or melting. It's also a significant advantage when cutting rusted or painted material. To turn off the system, first turn off the fuel control knob, purge the torch, and turn, turn off the preheat oxygen knob. Let's look at it one more time. Half of turn of preheat oxygen, purge for three to five seconds, two thirds of a turn of fuel, and then light directly at the tip. You'll notice here that the fuel is exiting the tip as a vapor because the multi-fuel adapter has already been heated up. Turn on the oxygen to one full turn until the yellow flame has disappeared Then turn the preheat oxygen knob back to one half turn. If necessary, make your final adjustment with fuel. Once complete, turn off the system by first turning off the fuel, purge, and then turn off the preheat oxygen. Maintain a 3 quarter to 1 inch coupling distance for most cuts. This can be increased if necessary to keep the tip from overheating.
the Petrogen Heavy Fuel Igniter uses a blast match to create the sparks. First remove the protective cap. Place the carbide strip and button facing the nut. Tighten the nut until the carbide strip slightly makes contact with the flint. If the flint does not return, slightly loosen the nut. Place the flint on the cutting surface and depress with a smooth motion.